how's it going? Hope everyone's well. Yes, I'm making a Chantal video. <laughs> Obviously. Because I have thoughts and opinions. Yes, I have insight. <laughs> Unfortunately. I would like to start this video by saying I all the information I am relaying to you is off of a video I watched a condensed down version just saying put out a fabulous video she condensed it all down made it super easy for me to just catch up because trust me trying to catch up through Chantel is insanity it's not gonna happen am I right we all know how many live streams how, how often is this woman live streaming a day like 18 20 hours a day I've been so bored of her obsessively talking about Natter. Like that's all she talks about in her live streams. And then she'll go, I'm not gonna talk about him anymore. And then she talks about him for like 16 hours, but I'm not gonna talk about him anymore. And I think, girl, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I don't have time because I would like to drive the point home how much I hate Natter. I hate him. I don't, well, hate's a strong word. Yeah, well, yeah, let's throw caution to the wind today. She is completely obsessed and unhinged. And it's, it's same shit, different day. And I just, I, uh, no, I wouldn't watch TV. Been cooking. I have a video I still need to edit. There's like three hours of footage and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Too much footage. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> I will get it out eventually. <laughs> Sometime this year, <laughs> I will get that video out. But I have thoughts now because this is, uh, this is careening off the tracks real quick, isn't it? I was doing that whole um, auction of Chantel's clothes. And honestly, if I rolled my eyes any harder, they would be stuck back here because it was just, it, it was like something I would see in high school. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, like move on, both of you. What is wrong with you? And I think it just kind of has to do with Natter always having to be the alpha and Chantel always having to be the alpha. One of you needs to be the beta. I don't care who, but one of you needs to be the beta <laughs> and this will all end. <laughs> but nope, that can't happen. We got two alphas fighting each other right now. Yeah, there's a few chuckles that, that that's a good one. Funny, funny Natter, real funny. But like it was all dumb. And then and then Natter's like, I'm gonna go to the cops and whatever. And and I honestly think that this is Chantel retaliating against that statement that Natter made. Honestly. Now listen, I I wanna leave a door open for Chantel. I do. I don't wanna just be like, she's lying. Because I don't know. I don't know if she's lying or not. I have my suspicions but I will leave a door open for her. Now she's a compulsive liar, she's not a credible person, and it makes her case harder to prove. But that's on her, that's, that's her. And if this really did happen, she's gonna find out that this is gonna be hard to prove when you are a compulsive liar. So if what she's saying is true, she's lost all credibility because all she does is lie. So yes, I will leave a door open because I would do that for anyone and even though I think she's a disgusting human being, I don't care. You, however, honey, you lie nonstop. That's all you do. It's not a good look for you. And she's shocked he's arrested. Girl, the, that's, that's what they do. They, you file a police report and then they investigate. Usually for cases like this, you are arrested. Now, if you had evidence to keep him, they would have kept him. So it's not good that he's out. <laughs> do I know Canadian laws where I could say 100% certainty that's how they do things? Absolutely not. Seems like Canada and the US are very similar in the way they practice law. So I feel pretty confident in saying, I don't think they had enough evidence and that's why he was released. Now, I know many a criminals who will fake illnesses to go to the hospital. However, 
if they still have enough evidence to keep you and the hospital clears that person, then they go back to jail. So if the hospital's like, no, he's fine, there's nothing wrong with him, then they take him back to jail. Nice try. They didn't do that, they released him. So either they don't have enough evidence or it's not that serious. I doubt he made bail. I doubt there was any type of bail because they took him to the hospital and then they let him go. Okay. Now, next, next, <laughs> I seriously doubt, Chantel, that the cops gave you names of other victims. Now, I think they said there has been other complaints made against him. And now the cops are like, listen, we have to investigate. I think that's what happened. The cops were like, okay, we have to do our due diligence here on our part because here's another complaint. I think she is just guessing that it's May. I don't feel like the cops would tell that information. I just don't believe that for a second. I think they might have said something to the fact of you're not the first person who's made a complaint against him. And she just immediately goes, May. And, and she might be right. <laughs> I mean, that's a good guess. And didn't May say she was pressing charges? So it's a good guess. But did the cops say that to her? No, I don't think she listens and um, processes properly the things that police say to her. That she doesn't do that. She hears what she wants to hear and then she bounces it off of everyone else who believes it to be true, like her dumb VIBs. I'm sorry. Okay, excuse me, I'll backtrack it. Gullible. <laughs> her gullible VIBs. There, better? Okay, cool, let's move on. So I don't believe that they told her that. I don't believe they sat down and had a little session where they brushed each other's hair and gossiped. That's not how police reports work. <laughs> God, okay. So, and Dee Dee calling Chantel can definitely count as witness intimidation. Like Natter encouraged her to do this. That's not good. However, then Chantel, who if you made a police report and you are pressing charges and you are serious, you should probably not be discussing this online because you are going to make yourself look bad. This is all evidence for the prosecutor or for the defense attorney to use against you in your own case. Facts are facts. The th there have been some things you said that the defense can use to get Natter off. Congratulations, Chantel. Congratulations. Now, listen, I've been saying since the beginning, since the beginning, Natter is a piece of shit. He's a drug addict. He's got problems. He probably does belong in jail. He probably can't be rehabilitated. This is who he is. So maybe if that's who he is, then maybe he shouldn't be a member of society. Sorry. But if you want, if you don't want to rehabilitate, then what are we supposed to do? Like we need to think about the, the rest of society and their safety as a whole. If he is a danger and a threat to society, then he should not be a member of society. Sorry. I've said that from day one, <laughs> okay? As has everyone else, because we're not stupid. <laughs> I can't be fooled. Chantel's the only one who was fooled. Now, do I believe he has abused her and done all this shit? Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's a drug addict. Drug addicts aren't nice people. <laughs> They're abusive. They're violent. They're threatening. They say horrible things. They do horrible things because they're drug addicts. That's part of who they are. Do you wanna believe, do you think I was a nice person when I was a drug addict? Huh, -uh. I would steal your wallet and help you find it. Yeah, I would. If you had 40 bucks on you, I would steal it from you because I gotta get high. The end, that was me. That was how I rolled. I need your 40 bucks so I can go get high. Thank you. Oh, you lost your wallet? Oh my God, where'd it go? Did you check the couch? Oh my God, check your car. I bet it's in your car. Peace. Come on, man. I was not a nice person. 
Would I do that now? No, absolutely not. <laughs> no. But that took a lot of work. That is work they're not willing to do. So they're going to do what they do now. So yeah, I, yeah, I'm sure he has abused her. Is that okay? No, it's not okay. She stayed with him though. That's not a good look. Now, I, I understand because I was in an abusive relationship myself and it is really hard to leave. You are really conditioned to believe that you're nothing without this other person and so you don't leave, you stay. And, and they make you financially dependent you know, they, they, they separate you from everybody. So you're completely isolated. And the only person you have to rely on is that person. That is their goal is to keep you isolated and dependent. Now, here's the thing. I keep saying they're two alphas fighting each other because that's what I think they are. I think there has been levels of abuse, but I think also <laughs> since she's an alpha too, <laughs> there's only so much shit she's going to take and she's going to fight back. And I think that's why he's sick of her. He's done with her. And no matter how much money she has, I think at the end of the day, he's like, it's just not worth it because she's fucking psycho. I would agree with that. That makes sense to me. So does, but does that make it okay for her to be abused? No, still no. Never, there is never a case where it is okay for her to be abused. No. However, for her to prove and get justice at this point probably won't happen. And that's on her. It's all her doing. So any chance she had to get justice has probably been long gone, long past. And it's probably not going to happen. Now, it could come down to the fact where it could even turn out that she gets charged with filing a false police report. But I don't know. That's just a possibility. She doesn't think anything can happen to her. Think again, honey. You could. It's called filing a false police report. If you are lying and you go to the court or you go to the cops because he's going to file a report and you're like, no, 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 I'm going to file a report because I'm alpha, you're beta, and I'm alpha, and they find out that you're lying, then yes, you could get in trouble. <sighs> Have fun. <clears throat> So it's just, it's a mess. She, I will say what I think she needs to do. If this is true, then get off the fucking internet now. This is doing you no favors because all you're doing is handing the defense their case. Hook, line, and sinker. Slam dunk, you're done. Because you are just making it so hard to prove anything happened. I have to look at this logically. Leave my emotions out of it. Logically, do I think they have anything for that they can get for her, for Chantel? No, I don't. It's gonna make it harder for any other women, any other of the women to get justice because just because she's an alpha doesn't mean the other women he's preyed on are alphas too. And they probably have been way more victimized than her. And it might be harder for them to get justice now because of her. And that is disgusting. I mean, at the end of the day, Natter and Chantel, they can just go live together and go live in a cabin in the woods with no internet. And you just, whoever comes out on top wins. For all I care. You two deserve each other. So anyways, um, <clears throat> if she decides now, two things can happen. They can ask her to, if she wants to continue to pursue this. And if she says, yes, 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 yes. Then I think that the courts will, or the prosecution will pursue it at her insistence. However, um, something that's going to happen is there's going to be an automatic no contact order, which I don't think Chantel's going to like. And I think she'd be the first person to break it because I do believe she stalks him. I do believe she is obsessed with him because that's all she talks about. And when she's not on camera those four hours a day, I'm pretty sure she's at his place peeking in his windows. Just saying. And if they, if prosecution decides to pursue it without even her pushing it, like maybe she doesn't want to, because she could change her mind. 
But if prosecution has enough evidence to pursue it, and she's like, no, 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 no. They're like, well, we're pursuing it anyways. I think they still could put an automatic no contact order. It's gonna be a lot of wait and see, wait and see. Um, if Canada's anything like the US, then the, the defendant has a right to a speedy trial. So things need to move quickly and swiftly because that's the right of the defendant. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. Like I'm saying, everything I'm talking about is based off of Just Saying's video. That's it. Um, that's everything. I hope I've got everything. If I've left something out, I'll make another video. I will continue to monitor this. Chantel, this is, what are you doing? What are you doing? And, and your VIBsers, I feel like they're really egging you on on this and it's just, it's not good. This isn't good. This isn't going to turn out well for you. Just walk away. Just walk away. Get some help. You need help. You need help more than anything else. I know you don't want it, but I'm still praying for that miracle that you get some help because you need help. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. So drop your ego a little bit. Stop trying to be an alpha. It's not even about that. Like just walk away, have your own peace of mind, have your own inner peace. Just walk away, let it go. He doesn't want to be with you. He doesn't want to be with you. And you know what? That means that there is somebody else out there for you, even you, <laughs> okay? And if you got your shit together, you could probably have a better quality person that you could spend the rest of your life with and have a really good life. You could. You could. Do I think you will? No. But, you know, still pulling for that because I'd like to see everyone just be a good person because this world would be a better place if everyone was a good person. So, of course, I want everyone to be a good person. <laughs> yeah so anyways I think that's all um gonna get back to my life I'm gonna read some books oh and the candle is burning for those of you who watched my unplugged book box unboxing is burning great <laughs> so happy you know I was like sketched I was sketched out that um wood burning candle wouldn't burn because I've had bad I've had candles not burn with the wood wick. This one, she's doing great. She is thriving. So, and I wore my little blankie last night when I took Pebbles out. <sighs> yes. So <laughs> anyways, things are just great over here. So everyone have a great day. Take a moment and say to yourself, thank God this is not my mess. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. All right. Everyone have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.